Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about Ante Avalon versus Caitlin Bennett. If you don't know who Caitlin Bennett is, she is the most popular gun girl. Everyone calls her that because she took a photo, you know, when she graduated, I guess, from college or something like that. You know, I don't know the full story, but all I know is that, you know, Ka Caitlin Bennett is a is now on the rise on YouTube. She was on the rise for a while, and her videos have been getting popular, and the only thing is that, okay, here's what she does. She goes to leftist marches, she interviews them, and, you know, instead of trying to get actual good responses and stuff, she goes there, be annoying, like a prick, and she pretty much, you know, sometimes gets herself in danger when she was assaulted. Those of you who watch one of her videos, watch specifically the video where she's wearing this pink wig, you know, she gets freaking attacked. And my only problem is, why on earth are you doing this stuff again, especially at night? Because you know how dangerous it is, especially with these people. You know that. Don't pretend that they're not dangerous. The next thing I want to talk about, okay, the next thing I want to say is the issue with Caitlin Bennett is... She's just for the gotcha moments, you know? She, like, she goes up to these people, says the stuff about, just, just say some stuff, and then they respond, and then she says, so you mean, you know, you know how people try to get, get gotcha, you know? You know that? Yeah. Um, so, Aunt Avalon finally makes a response, a res not a response, a video about her, pretty much. And my only issue with that is, one, free thinker Aunt Avalon, <laughs> is freaking um how do i say this um he waited months to make this video now it is fine if he heard about her recently but i think he did hear about her recently but if he did not hear about her recently and he kept this all the time and you know you he, he waited for, wait for a specific moment then you know it's just for the trend because remember everyone was making videos on her at the time until made a video on uh, so just remember that keep that in mind, but anyways, I'm just gonna say, you know, he doesn't know her that well, so It's okay. Um, oh my gosh, I'm eating breakfast while I'm making videos. That's so weird Anyways, uh, next thing I want to say is Caitlin Bennett then responds to this video and it's a 25 minute video. I did not watch the full thing um, honestly, she does say that Anta does the same stuff that she does. Well, specifically with Anta's interviews. There were some videos where Anta, you know, you can watch those videos. I hope it's still on his channel, but, uh, you, you can just check those videos where he goes to the Pride Parade and he asks people questions. The thing is that he's not asking gotcha questions. He is just being a normal person asking them questions and stuff like that. Um, big difference in what Caitlyn does, and that's it. Now, honestly, my full response is, I don't know. Honestly, I'm stuck in the middle, okay? I watch both of these people. I'm still subscribed to Aunt Avalon. Still subscribed to Caitlyn Bennett. You know, sometimes I can't really stand Caitlyn Bennett. Sometimes I don't understand Aunt Avalon's way of being a free thinker, but, okay, um... Whatever that means, I mean, um, free thinker. What next? What next, Anta Leftist? <laughs> but honestly, I do think that a debate will settle this. And Anta has said that you will settle it with a debate if things go on, if things keep going on with response videos. And I think that's the best thing to do because debates will settle something once and for all. And um, it will be interesting. Unto Avalon, interv well, not interviews, uh, debates, Caitlin Bennett. Um, I also saw in the comments that Slightly Offensive wants to, what's the word, be the moderator, I guess? Yeah, so th that'll be cool, too. That will be so epic. That is going to be so epic. Uh, honestly, I have mixed feelings on both of them, you know? Sometimes I can be very angry at them, and sometimes I'll be like, oh, okay, it's okay. But... 
honestly, I I'm just I'm just gonna stick in the muddle with this one, you know, um, because you know, Unto Avalon has been freaking um, going off the deep end for a while, you know. Um, <laughs> like I still watch his streams sometimes. I, lo I I love his streams because it's fun to just watch him and stuff. Um, also, Caitlyn Bennett, it's just that. She's annoying sometimes, that's why I can't watch her full videos. But honestly, um, you also have. Oh, speaking of the controversy with Caitlyn Bennett, um, pretty much it all started about this two month old video. Yes, it took these, these trans victims. I'm calling them trans victims because one, well, in trans victims in quotations, because they are not victims, first off, and two, they're just cry babies because they always cry about these dumb issues. Oh, someone doesn't want to have same sex bathrooms. Oh, oh, we should attack them. These people are really annoy annoying because they just, just, just want to be the victim. Always with the victim. Like anything with trans stuff, they're the victim. They're always the victim. And I do not respect that. And then you have the com com commentary community. Those jackasses making videos on something political that has nothing to do with their th what they normally do. I know that the, f the fact that they are jumping on this review is because you can easily tell that they're jumping on this reviews. Why would they not jump on this reviews? It's easy target. I mean, if they wanted to target Caitlyn, they would have done it a long time ago. All of those for the views, and I don't like these big dumb ass commentary channels. So good. Um, they can freaking freak themselves. Um, honestly, I don't think Caitlyn will respond to those videos, but I don't think she can because she literally got so much of hate from all of those cunts combined. Um, honestly, I'm just on the fence with this one. And to, to be honest, I know you're more, way more smart than Caitlyn when it comes to certain issues and stuff, and you're not you're not an irritating ass wipe, you know, you know, so, Caitlin, you still stick to your conservative views, okay, so, it's weird being, it's weird being on the fence for the first time, I don't like being on the fence, well, maybe not the first time, but come on, um, honestly, I don't know if I'll post this video, if I do, I don't know, tell me your thoughts in the comments below, who is wrong, who is right, what are your thoughts on them, do you think, do you think that a debate will finally settle it, or not? Um, I do think the debate will finally settle it, and after that, I just want everyone to start focusing on the 2020 elections, because come on, people! Come on! Come on! There's no time to be freaking bickering. Well, if this keeps going on, response after response video, I know Ante's not going to do that, but I know if Caitlyn does that, then it is going to be so annoying, because we don't want that. We don't want to keep on having fights in this in our side, okay? Okay. It's a big year for for pretty much all sides and everyone needs to focus on this year, okay? So so er, so, so after this debate, you know, everyone pull your socks up. Freaking I I don't know. Get ready for 2020. This this elections uh, cuz it's going to be a big one. Um also um do I think Caitlyn will accept the debates? I think so. She, she, I don't think she's afraid to do it. I think she will do it. If she doesn't, then she's a coward. But honestly, um, she has been on the Logan that Logan Paul podcast. What is it called? Impulsive. So, you know, she has been there, and you know, she went there because freaking, she wanted to go there and you know tell them, hey, you know what? These these views are my views. Okay, so. That's why, um, that's why she went there, and you know she she wasn't scared of going there. But I'm not sure about this one. I'm not sure about this one. So who knows? I'm not so sure about this one. But um, honestly, I'm I just want to be a bit more thoughtful, and I'm just gonna say both of them are, are going to agree on a debate. Both of them are going to have a civil debate. When I mean civil, I mean no yelling, no no gotchas. And stuff like that. Just simple debates. Simple debates. And I hope it goes well. Because I am not going 
to freaking, you know, see our side eat each other up. I'm not gonna let that happen, okay? Anyways, bye.